In this video, I'll be sharing with you 5 lightweight Linux distributions that are built for blazing speed and high performance. These distros can not only make your old computers fast, but also make your powerful newer hardware give you an accelerated performance. I have a laptop which I bought 12 years ago, so it's very low powered by today's standards. But I can easily run Android Studio, a browser and an emulator on it all at the same time. And guess what, the performance is very similar to what you get on a mid-range laptop available in the market today. What my laptop lacks in the hardware department, I make up for it by installing ingenious Linux distros that are built for superior performance. These distros breathe a new life into older hardware as these operating systems have reduced overhead, allowing the computer to use more resources in terms of memory and CPU cycles for user tasks, thereby providing visible boost in performance. Today, I'll pick for you the top 5 best Linux distros that deliver a power pack computing experience along with a solid stability, great usability and some with downright stunning looks. Let's jump right in. Starting off, we have Manjaro on number 5. Manjaro is an Arch Linux based, independently maintained distribution that brings the cutting edge tech out there right to your computer no matter how old or new your computer is. Although Manjaro Linux is available with all the desktop environments, XFC has always been the main one. Because of this lightweight desktop, Manjaro uses a minimal amount of memory and CPU. This lets it deliver amazing performance as more resources are free and available for user applications. Manjaro is an absolute productivity focused Linux distro. It has a simple bottom panel based workflow. There is a simple menu with apps organized nicely and a fast search to get what you want quickly. The operating system ships with only the essentials here. Manjaro contains many lightweight software for day-to-day -day tasks like an image viewer, a video player and more. Everything is light here so the operating system delivers a speedy performance throughout. Manjaro uses the mainline Arch as its testing grounds and pushes updates after confirmed stability. So you are getting the latest version of all the software with added stability. Manjaro repositories have a large number of software. There is no flat pack or snap hassle here. Everything can be installed directly from the Pamac store. You can also get software from the Arch user repositories here, which is the biggest pool of Linux software and you can get literally anything you want here. The Pacman package manager is used here to maintain everything and this is just great. For a distro that I am recommending for old computers, there is nothing old about Manjaro. Manjaro brings you all the packages in their latest versions, so you get to experience the latest and greatest of all the Linux tech out there. If you are not able to update Windows to the latest version because of your limited hardware, you should check out Manjaro. It's got the newest of everything with an added pinch of reliability. You can install multiple desktop environments here and it'll work without any issues. The same cannot be said of other Linux distros. Manjaro is extremely flexible, fast, dependable and new in terms of packages. Manjaro breathes a new life into laptops and desktops and even on newer hardware, Manjaro delivers a purely performance driven computing experience that'll blow your mind. Linux Mint is very popular mainly because of its flagship Cinnamon desktop environment. But it also offers a Mate variant which in my opinion is highly underrated. Linux Mint Mate looks and feels pretty much the same as its Cinnamon sister. But when it comes to performance, the Mate version rockets up and above. Mate desktop environment is the continuation of GNOME 2. Mate is both fast and good looking. If you feel that XFC and LXD are a bit too outdated and dull for today's date and time, but still want something that's light, then Mate desktop is definitely made for you. With a few tweaks here and there, Mate can look as good as anything out there. Compared to XFC, Mate desktop has a very different underlying technology which deliver much better aesthetics and rendering. Mate is just better to look at. Linux Mint Mate or LMM for short is a very simple Linux distro. It is based on the latest LTS version of Ubuntu, so it's very stable. It also contains up to date packages. Mint Mate is a very polished operating system. Mate desktop strikes that sweet spot between being lightweight and being modern. It looks very good out of the box here and it delivers visibly better performance compared to systems that use GNOME or Plasma. And for people coming from Windows, this system will feel very familiar while also delivering a supercharged performance on the same hardware. It comes with all the essentials installed out of the box and zero bloat. It has a beginner friendly control center which makes managing your computer really easy. Then you can find pretty much any software you need in the software manager. The software manager in Linux Mint is something that I have great love for. It is so simple in organization yet so elegant. There are no snap apps mixed with traditional apps here. But flat packs are available in their own category. Linux Mint goes the extra mile to make sure all apps are available natively in .dev version for example Firefox. 
this definitely contributes to a better performance. Overall, using Linux Mint Mate is a great experience. The whole thing is very stable and responsive. If you're looking for an operating system that is fast and runs great on old hardware, but you're not a fan of XFC or LXD, then Linux Mint Mate is a great choice for you. This is not your regular Zorin OS running the GNOME desktop. This, in fact, is Zorin OS Lite version featuring the XFC desktop environment. I take back everything I said about XFC not being good looking. Actually, this is the most beautiful XFC Linux distro in my opinion. I mean, just look at it. I already got a lot of love for the original Zorin OS look. Here, Zorin developers have made the same experience available on pretty much a potato computer. The bottom panel is themed beautifully and everything on the system looks on spot. The application menu is crazy fast and desktop is extremely responsive. I'm not really used to something this good looking also being fast, so the responsiveness I'm getting here is blowing my mind. Zorin OS Lite requires just around 500 MBs of RAM to function properly, so this would be a really good choice for laptops and desktops that need a revival. Even for a computer that is not too old and is moderately powerful, Zorin Lite can make it run really smooth. Zorin is one of the top Linux distros in the world. It's not another Linux distro targeted towards servers and cloud. It's created with desktop users in mind and comes with many features that make it a great desktop system. And all these features are present in Zorin Lite as well. Today, Zorin OS is a leading Linux distro for personal computers. This year, it stands with the giants and gets a top rank in my curated video of the best Linux distros of this year. It's so good, I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes the de facto Linux distro for desktops. Zorin is built on Ubuntu LTS, so it has a great base. Zorin developers have also created a great design and workflow. They have made Zorin OS so compelling for us as PC users, all through what Zorin offers. A number of stunningly great features and a phenomenally high quality. Yeah, that's what Zorin offers. You may be an absolute Linux beginner, but you'll find your way around here easily. For Linux newcomers, Zorin OS is highly recommended as it makes everything very easy here. Zorin OS comes with Flatpaks, Snaps and Ubuntu's .deb software repository enabled out of the box. The software store here nicely integrates everything and lets you install anything you want here. Although there are multiple package managers, everything is presented to you with uniformity here. You can also install Windows applications here. Download them from the internet, double click on the file and Zorin will first check if the app is available natively on Linux and if yes, it lets you install the Linux version automatically. If not available, then it will install the Windows app with Wine. I really love what Zorin developers did in the software department here. Features wise, Zorin is fully loaded. Run it side by side with a Mac or a Windows PC and in no shape or form does Zorin lack something that the other two have. And now, Zorin Lite is bringing the same experience on hardware that couldn't deliver this kind of experience before. Zorin Lite is a dependable operating system with a gorgeous desktop that will run fine on ancient hardware. I already had mad love for Zorin and with what they have done with the XFC desktop environment, it's spectacular. I highly recommend it. Alright, moving on to the second entry, Bodhi Linux is the most lightweight Linux distro on this list, using just north of 200 MBs of RAM when idle. Bodhi is a Ubuntu derivative. It features the Moksha desktop environment which is super light as far as resource consumption goes. Bodhi is a bare bones Linux distro. The default installation contains just a handful of applications. There's Midori browser and some system tools, that's it. Forget about games and LibreOffice. You won't even get a music player here, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. You're in search for an ultra-lean system, so it makes sense that it doesn't come bloated with applications you might not even use. You install your favorite applications anyway. Bodhi Linux gives you an opportunity to build a lean system that contains only the things that you need and nothing else. Bodhi's desktop is called Moksha and it is highly usable but quite different from other desktop environments. The bottom panel houses an application menu which doesn't have a search. Icons for your favorite applications, running applications and system icons are also here. The only thing I didn't like here is the absence of the search feature in the menu, but that can be solved by installing a launcher like Launchy or Gnome Do. I've given the install instructions in the description below. The desktop looks good even while it's ultra minimal. Bold coloring and dark ambience is used very intelligently to dramatize the desktop. This doesn't make you feel like you're using a barebone system. The workflow is slightly different but it's really intuitive. Clicking anywhere on the desktop brings up the application menu and right clicking brings up just the favorites. I could really get used to this. Talking about the performance, idle RAM usage is just around 200 MBs, so the whole thing will run butter smooth on a system with even just 1 gig of RAM. I guess it will work even on very old computers with say 500 MBs of RAM. 
The operating system is very responsive. All in all, Bodhi is a great choice for someone looking to build an efficient, highly personalized operating system which will run fine on old computers too. And it is Ubuntu based, so it delivers great software availability, stability and dependability. Bodhi Linux will run on a potato if you can find a potato with 512 MBs of RAM. Nuff said. The year is 2023 and out of all the Linux distros, an XFC based Linux distro ranks number one on DistroWatch. A distro must be exceptionally good to beat so many GNOME and KDE distros to get the top spot. And exceptionally good is what MX Linux is. MX is the prodigal son of Debian. Unlike Ubuntu, there is no big corporation behind MX, there is no good looking shiny desktop. In fact, out of all the Linux distros on this list, MX probably has the least good looking setup by default with this vertical panel. No issue, it can be changed with a single click. So getting into it, MX Linux is the Debian based Linux distro with power packed features. MX gives you so much more control over what you can do with your system. MX is a pure performance driven system which comes with the Debian stability and its mind blowing software repositories. On MX, there is a set of applications here that fall under the MX tools category. These tools streamline advanced actions that are otherwise not easy to do. You get simple graphical interfaces here to sort out things like fixing boot issues, installing NVIDIA drivers, installing multimedia codecs, making system snapshots and so much more. I really like this as you don't need to play around with the terminal if that's not your thing. And these tools simplify Linux for you. Then MX provides very fine control over package management. You get to choose different versions of the same package from Debian Stable, Debian Backports and MX Testing Repositories. What this does is, it allows you to install newer packages on your system easily because Debian Stable packages are generally very old. You can install and use much newer software versions from Debian Backports, which I generally don't recommend unless you absolutely have to. Anyway, I like the fact that you get to choose. The desktop is very light here and there are no animations or transitions. This makes MX very suitable for older computers and laptops. If you have any old PCs which are begging for a new life, then MX is a great way forward. Old hardware won't struggle much with MX Linux as the OS itself demands very less resources. MX is a fantastic system even for newer hardware if you want to squeeze every ounce of performance from your hardware. The overall balance of being lightweight, solid Debian stability, superior control over your system and delivering a performance oriented experience rightfully put MX Linux on the number one spot of this list. I'm not really a fan of XFC or LXDE, but there's no denying that even on moderately powerful hardware, you can see better responsiveness and faster speeds when using these distros. This speedup vanishes rapidly as you increase the specs and vice versa. My old laptop with GNOME struggles to run smoothly and there's a good amount of time between clicking on an icon and that application starting up. But on XFC, the same 12 year old laptop will go head to head with a mid range laptop running Windows that is released even this year. Yeah, these distros are that good. Now you won't get 60 FPS on top games just because of XFC. On heavy computational tasks like gaming, compiling or rendering, your computer will perform pretty much as it did before, with minute performance gains. But the computer will get much more responsive speeds for day to day tasks like browsing the web, editing a document, switching between them. It will improve significantly and this isn't just for ancient computers. Even moderately powerful PCs can give better responsiveness on these Linux distros. Then there are people like me, who want an operating system that facilitates and streamlines productivity. They just want to get some work done and don't really care about the glitchy stuff. For those people, I highly recommend that you check out the distributions on this list. You just might find your next operating system here. And which one are you picking? Do let me know. Let's chat in the comments below. Next up, check out 2023's ultimate guide to the top 7 best Linux distributions. I got some amazing ones there and I also included some hidden gems. So do check it out. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and give me a big thumbs up. This is Linux Techs, signing out.